do no harm. That's a promise doctors make when they pledge the Hippocratic Oath. We trust doctors because we believe they have our best interests at heart. But what if they don't? The next day, I showed Ted the letters from Ellen. He took matters into his own hands, something I would quickly come to regret. You've been lying to me all along. To her credit, Nurse Thomas didn't flinch. She told Ted she understood his frustration, but... I didn't want to tempt you. Not when we're so close to a cure. Screw your cure! I want the truth! Or somebody's gonna get hurt! Pretty soon, the whole ICU was up in arms. And that's when it struck me. We were in a hospital, but there were no orderlies, no security. The whole operation was just Nurse Thomas and some doctor no one had ever even seen in person. I wanted the truth, too, but I knew there was a better way to get it. Stop! We just want to speak with Dr. Canton. Fortunately, Nurse Thomas did the only thing she could at that point. The doctor is... he's in room 618. I convinced the other patients that Ted and I would go alone, report back. But it was going to be hard to explain what we found up there. The secret ingredient in Dr. Canton's treatment was a bacteria that didn't prevent our symptoms. It induced them. It was the reason we all had inflammation and lesions. Turned out, not one of us really had the flesh-eating virus. I'm gonna kill that quack bastard! You have every right to be angry. Dr. Canton was the only one actually manifesting. Those Polaroids. Those were of his body. He explained how he'd been slowly deteriorating ever since the fall. And daily transfusions using our blood samples were the only thing keeping him alive now. That was the scam. Volunteers who came to the hospital with the doctor's blood type, O negative, we were told we had the virus just to keep us around as donors. The truth is, there is no cure. I want you to kill me. Dr. Canton couldn't bear the pain any longer. But Nurse Thomas, she wasn't ready to let him go. Do no harm. Those words were no longer a pledge. They were a plea.